Welcome back guys, The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, where we're deep within the dungeon with only a couple of rooms to go, only a few more rooms to go, in fact, it seems by the map we're heading upwards, but in between episodes I managed to let one of these guys grab me, and we found the door, no problem at all. So I've got myself a little bit extra rupees and lost myself a little bit more help, which makes me extremely worried for the future. I've got no magic, I've got no nothing. And now I need to push forward and break through and all that jazz. Though a fairy popping out of an enemy is extremely the good thing. Wouldn't mind a massive magic jar as well, to be honest. If you can give me one of those, I'd be happy. Oh no, it seems we get ourselves another key, but we don't really need it, of course, because we've already kind of sorted that problem out by having a key spare where we didn't need it. But this is the last room. Which, with the boss directly under us, or the boss room, makes me wonder a little bit about how things are going to take place here. If we drop down, we... Oh, nearly got caught again. Are we straight into battle? Well, it seems arrows and magic are a good thing here. Hopefully, well, I'd have expected the dungeon item to prove a very useful thing for the boss, but still, we don't have the magic to supply that. I don't have myself a green potion. Shall we just drop in? See what happens? It seems the boss is right in front of us. And ready to go with the stage joining in and beams of magic. Right, we got hit that time. I'm a bit worried about the moving floor that moves at times and doesn't at others. This is not good, not good. Ow, 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 ow. Try to flame him with my mine a bit. Ah, oh, nearly got you from the front. Right, spin attacks do seem to work quite well on this guy. It's dodge the magic. You can only hit me from the front, it seems. But to be honest... Is that all you've got, sir? Is it because I was spin attacking? Well, all the same, boss goes down no problem, really. I was a bit worried because of the moving stage and the moving floor, but we dropped down and wiped that guy in two seconds. Boss, my... And the third Crystal Maiden is saved! Ollis, because of you I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters! Thank you, no problem, madame! Do you know the prophecy of the Great Cataclysm? This is the way I heard it. A person who has an evil heart gets the Triforce, a hero is destined to appear! And he alone must face the person who began the Great Cataclysm. The evil one destroys the hero. Nothing can save the world from his wicked reign. Only a person of the Knights of Hyrule who protected the royalty of Hylia can become the hero. You are of their bloodline, aren't you? Then you must rescue Zelda without fail. Do you understand? I do indeed. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. May it indeed. Thanks for my magic back and the whatnot. Thanks for the extra heart container and the health refill as well. Because another dungeon is completed. Well, that boss went down fast as anything. I was quite surprised by that. But we've got four dungeons left on the map. And number four of which is down in where Kakariko Village is in the Light World. So it's time to go with a little bit of your hints and tips around as well to help me out there. Mainly I've got to be looking for some kind of blacksmith's house, supposedly. Let's grab myself some more money. Now what's the easiest way out of here? Hmm. Good question. Because if I go this way, don't I just end up coming round to a hole? Which is not really gonna help me get back out properly, will it? Right, that is... No, I think I've got to go down here to get back out. It's too bad I can't use, like, the light mirror and bring myself to the start of the dungeon which, for us, was the big key room. The big boss itemy room. <laughs> but where really is the star of this dungeon? Obviously not that one. Let's get round and beat these guys up. Get out my face. Not taking any too heart damage from you. I hope I can get some kind of heart increase or something, like heart shield. That would be brilliant. Because I hate taking double damage. 
Well, that's for sure. Right, so we're nearly out. Now, should we be coming down to Kakariko Village itself, or should we come down from above? Questions, questions. Don't you dare jump on me, sir. No. That's the problem with sword beams a little bit. They kind of mess with you in a different way. You didn't get to grab anything from me. I'm happy about that. Doesn't seem like there was any heart pieces to grab in town here. Get defeated by the ultimate power of throwing things. But it seems we're finally heading out. To ghosts. Why are you in here? Okay, I found a bee and what seems to be some kind of vulture type bird thing. But it doesn't seem to want to fight us. So I'm a bit confused about all that now and I just got blown back by the tree over there. You just a normal bird or something? Are you an enemy or not? I dare not walk in front of you though, but no way I'm grabbing that to pick it up. Okay, you are not an enemy. Well, you like... May I dare postulate that they're chickens? Just from the evil world? Evil world versions of chickens. It seems you've got yourself in a bind there, sir. You've got yourself a little bit stuck. Well, I don't mind, because I'm in... Karako Village. Or whatever it's called in the Dark World, anyway. Fourth dungeon so near, nothing hidden away. Defeat you and find out what it is. This is the village of outcasts. People without rupees are not welcome here. Well, I have 470. Hopefully that will do me. No place to jump down to this time. Well, I'm sure there must be tons of secrets hidden here, though it seems there's still more enemies. Excuse me. Don't mind me. Breaking through. I'm guessing a lot of switching could reveal a lot here. What's going on here, though, however? Hi, may I help you? You can open two chests for 30 rupees. Why don't you play? Okay, I'll play here, because I'm imagining this kind of game definitely gives heart pieces. If I'm lucky, but 30 rupees and I got 50 off the bat, and an arrow. Okay, we'll play again. You can't open your chest, the game's over. So, would you say there's a heart piece here? Because I definitely would. Let's play a couple games. You never know, I might get really lucky. Should we open the front too? A bomb. 50 rupees. So we, we tend to come out on a profit all the same. I'm wondering if it randomizes every time we enter and re-enter and all that. Or if I should just try every single chest along the way. But 50 rupees and a heart piece. You found a piece of heart. No problem. The luck is strong in me, that's for sure. Game complete. Only took three tries. Third tie was the charm. And what's with all these... Oh, are you a party? Hello? Oh, you're a thief! You can take my singular rupees, it's fine. Just don't take my main rupees here. And here's the mysterious room that we could bomb open. I'm guessing... Hey, if we switch back now, would we, like, go into it? That'd be interesting. And yes, these are skeletal... chickens. To be honest, though, that still looks bombable, even though it's saying it's not. Yes, very much so. Right, so where are we now? Well, there's a treasure chest, I'll take that. 300 extra rupees, well, no problem whatsoever. You've got to realise that some bomber walls look bombable but aren't bombable, some bomber walls look like they aren't bombable but are bombable. And then problems arise. Right, we can get in the back there as well, hopefully. Oh, well, well, we can't actually get in in. So that's fair. This is the village of Outcast. People are at rupees are not welcome here. You keep telling us this, but what's with the multiple... Wait, other way, sirs. Let's just keep exploring. We've already found one heart piece. There's got to be more in a place like this. Right, we've got another shop. They always sell the same kind of thing, however. Shields are not something I'm after. Okay, 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 okay. You got me, sir, and I hate you for it. And then ghosts in town. Lots of broken down buildings. Oh yes, you're thieves. Yes, I remember. I hate you because we cannot show you justice. If killing you is justice. Probably not. Thieves are everywhere, but a treasure chest everywhere as well as a picture of Mario. Well, it seems this town just wants to give away the rupees a little bit. 
In fact, we've hit our maximum, 9999. We have no more need for rupees after just a couple of seconds exploration. These guys can steal from me all they want. And it seems... Ah! Now that is interesting. Now doesn't that look like an entrance to a dungeon to you? It very does to me. Well, what else have we got going on around here? Apart from you up here, sir, this is where we came in. Explore every single inch of this place to make sure we're not missing anything. And to be honest, it seems like everything here is sunk underground. Alright, that's the way back out. What's this sign say? This is the village of Outcast yet again. But, well, I was expecting something secret here from knocking down that, that's for sure. Doesn't seem to be anything really going on in the village of Outcast all the same. Okay, it's the village of Outcast, whatever. No problem. Can't go this way either. Hello, chickens. Maybe we can break through in the light world. Maybe what we're supposed to be doing is checking between. Speaking of which, though, have I been this way? Yeah, the criminal that kidnapped Zelda. Have I actually been in this bit? Have I? I'm slightly confused now, but I don't recognise it, so we're going to say no. A well to jump down. In fact, there is space to do it as well. No secret holes hidden around where the grass is. Let's check out whose house this is. Right, hello, sir. If my lost partner returns, we can temper your sword. But now, I can't do anything for you. You can temper my sword. It's too bad we can't change back. It'd be nice to see what's beyond here in the dark world. Right, let's knock down this pillar over here. And no, no secrets up over there, but may as well take the plunge. Right, jars galore, thank you. Nothing inside. Uh, which way's the right way? Can't bring out the map, in fact. So there's multiple. That looks like out. In fact, it very much is out. So not that way. So that brings us out back over there. No problem. We'll just jump down yet again. Head up the top way first. Right, what's up here? Okay, some kind of altar. Now, from the comments that you guys have said to me, there's something going on here involving magic powder at the blacksmith's house. So with that in mind, let's give it a go. Because your comments really help me out. Hey, Blast, you've awakened me from my deep, dark sleep. I mean, thanks a lot, sir. Okay, B bipolar there. But now I will get my revenge on you. Get ready for it. Uh, is that okay with you? Polite and mean at the same time, sir. Sir. But you can electrocute me all you want. Because from what I've heard, something good happens. Ha ha ha! I laughed your misfortune. Now your magic power will drop by one half. Congratulations. Now do your best, even though I'm sure it won't be enough. Have a nice day, see ya! Because that will actually give me half magic usage. So now I've got basically a doubled magic bar. If you want to put it in any other way. So thank you again for your comments. Without you, this Let's Play would probably be very much missing quite a few items. It probably still is at this point in time. i would probably find a lot more. But that would require a lot of exploration. Right, so... We've got the dark world, we've got the light world. The one place of character we have not yet checked Further, or the village of the people who want rupees quite a bit, is the bottom. Because we could not get up to any of these buildings. That, well, if they're even there anymore. Because it seems not. So, dungeon number four is over there. But how to open it is the main problem. There's many, many broken houses. There's definitely a way to do something there. Ghosts all around. Maybe I've got to banish all the ghosts. I very much doubt that though, however. Right, this demon here is my entrance. Easy enough to say, but... What? That 
actually worked? Well, I could imagine the next troll and error would have been the Pegasus run into it, but I just pulled it like, yeah, let me in. What? I should have tried that the first time I came up to it. Right. So it seems we're in the next dungeon, guys. Level four. Let's get to work. Dungeoneer, we've got ourselves a hot piece. Some, well, less magic usage. I'm going to jump straight down for the treasure chest. Who thinks I'm not, if you know what I mean? Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, get away from me. Whatever you are, whatever you do, don't go near me. A dungeon map is claimed straight away. No problemo. So how big is this dungeon as a whole? We've got ourselves a few floors. The first floor itself, though, is a little bit empty. The one we're on right now seems to have the mainstay of the dungeon to it. Now, what are you guys? Well, whatever you are, you're not that high, so we'll just take you out. The sword beams and the whatnot. In fact, the fire rod seems to be incredibly powerful. Now, can I move on? Oh, I can move on from here. Good. There's a bombable wall up there by the look of it. I'm wondering what those do, but I may as well go up and bomb it. This dungeon's already looking quite confusing for me. Get away from me, red blob thing. I got a bomber wall. You know how this works. You go that way, blow up and die. I blow up the wall. Try to find lovely secrets. Secrets! I'm amazed by how fast the boss went at the start of this episode, to be honest. Open me up lots and lots of passageways. So we've gone through three main chambers at the moment, but that hasn't really got as much. We haven't really explored them properly. We're obviously going to have to. Is there a key here? No? Nothing to even get from this area? Or at least we can see kind of what's going around and through and all that. I don't think defeating these guys is going to give me anything good, however. Even though I can, from where I am. Ah, yeah, 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 whatever you are, get away from me! And lots of fire and everything. Well, surely I've got to do something with these platforms. Right, so we've moved into the room we have not yet entered. And that looks suspicious, but no bombable wall by the look of it. Right, we've got ourselves another chest. So we got to that pretty easily. There's a set route here. We've got ourselves the compass. We can now pinpoint the lay of the dungeon's evil master. If only we can pinpoint all the chests. When the compass started doing that, the compass became an invaluable tool. At this point in time, you can pretty much be sure that if you haven't found the boss yet, he's in the room you haven't been in. In other words, chest not the most... Ah! Okay, I'm Bunny Link once again. Seems I've made a... Oh, I've turned back. Good. Seems I made a return for a slight, slight bit of time. Now tell me there's like some keys to grab. No. Get destroyed. Farewell. Must be some keys or something from somewhere here. Well, there's another chest, so I'm going to grab that if I can. Right, we can jump down. Oh, I see what we've done wrong here. Right, we could have walked in and got it. But now we're going to have to jump down and go that way. Oh, come on, that was a dead on here. Continue to make our loop yet again. Head back down into that corner. If we want to get that. So we should be able to jump down from the top here. All the way down. And then we'll pass through. Hopefully not getting hit as we go. And there's another chest. Get okay, we got the big key already. We don't have any small keys though. Or any way through to the rooms that we want to get to. Right, let's just check the map again for any entrances. There is the one at the top right of this room. In fact, the one at the top right of the next room, even. That seems... out. Oh, there must be an enemy over there. Yes. That one seems to be the room we... Well, the place we need to get to for further forward progress. Right, do we want to be up on the high for this? Well, we've got a big key. Is that... Re what? Right, that opened that up and leads us towards the boss already? I'm slightly confused with the state of play at the moment. Just a little bit. I wonder if magic still restores as much. I'm guessing it does. Right, so the boss is in front of us. But none of these doors are open. We don't have a small key. 
Really? Is this how it's playing out? And the boss is right here and we can walk in, but do we- Ah, small key! I was about to say, do we need a dungeon item to defeat him? Is it something weird like that? We can walk in and say, hi boss now, but then no possible way of bashing or defeating. To be honest, we can access the boss it seems, but I'm not going to do it until we've got everything. That would be the silly way to play a Zelda game, wouldn't it? Very much so indeed. Ow, no more extra keys or anything. Grr, fire. And we have weird red blobs. It seems that they send out their heart to move towards something. Wait, I need to get... Uh, okay, get the magic powder out would be our first port of call here. Let's stop the evil. Yeah, fire this way. That's good. All right, should we chase it down, which is uh, usually a bad... Oh, duh. Right, there we go, restore some HP. We've got ourselves a new dungeon here, a fair few rooms still to travel through if we're gonna get a big boss dungeon item. We can already access the boss, it's a bit confusing. We defeated the boss this episode, got ourselves a heart piece, half the magic bar, checked out this shadowy village. And so we continue on to another boss next episode by the look of it. Join me then for more Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Bye-bye.